Today I'm going to show you how you can use 10i. There's a couple different ways. One way is we can actually take colors and find pictures, and 10i can also let us do the opposite. In this example, we're going to be using 10i.com.multicolor. So here we are with 10i, and at the beginning we're going to select up to five colors. So we can just kind of randomly pick a color. Okay, so I'm going to choose these two colors. As you can see right now, they are on 50-50. So if you slowly put your mouse over here, um, you have two options. You have a trash can, and then you also have the color wheel, so you can click it and redefine it. Okay, but when you're first here, you don't see those items. So again, make sure you hover your mouse over here to see the options. So when I click to refine the color, then it's going to tell me my exact hexadecimal color code. So for the assign for this assignment, you're going to need to write that number down because that's one of the colors that you are using. Also, you can click right in the middle of the three dots, and then you can try to find a picture that maybe is mostly yellow and has just a little bit of the blue. If you want to add another color in there, you can click the color. If that color um, is a little bit too bright or something, you can adjust the color wheel actively and then get your color code. And if you want to delete the color, you can click remove the color. And then later, if you want to, you could even add um, a tag. Maybe you're looking for nature or for flowers, something like that. Okay. And these are, uh, tonight is using Flickr for those. Okay, and then I can click on the picture. I could save the picture. Um, we would always need to make sure that we um, have a free license to do that. Um, here's an art project that somebody did. Okay, and again, it kind of gives you some different um, facts and some different tags about the images. Okay, so it's super easy to use. You can use it on your iPhone and stuff. Um, if you wanted to, you could log in, and that way you can save your favorites. But again, this is labs.10i.com, and this is specifically multicolor, and that is spelled M-U-L-T-I-C-O-L-R. So to wrap this up, here's another example I did with 10i. I just went and selected my pictures, my two colors. Um, then I can remember, I can kind of slide my design kind of forward and backwards. Okay, so now maybe then I could go, and if I had the license, I could go and I can print um, some different pictures out and put on my wall and frame them very inexpensively. Um, so this is kind of a great way maybe to go find some colors. Maybe I could type beach. Okay, maybe take some of that out and maybe add a little bit of some green. Um, for some watercolors. And again, you can clear your tags. You can add on more ocean, beach, fish, turtle, kind of any different um, design that you want. So this is another great tutorial from the Adobe Academy at Southern Lee High School.